Cash for your collectibles at Smitty's Cards and Coins. Well, uh, we are having the third annual Halloween Spectacular. This was started by my daughter in the Prompt Youth Advisory Board three years ago. And I now, as um, my own person being part of the Prompt community, I've decided since it went so well, we might as well do it again. Last year, we numbered, I believe, around 738 children, big children, little children, lots of monsters. Uh, so it went very well, so there's where I feel we need to have it again. So are you going to be needing volunteers? Um, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, too many is never enough. Um, I will be needing volunteers who would um, like to hand some candy out. They don't have to provide candy. Sponsors have stepped up this year for that. And um, decorating, I will take high schoolers, um, children who have nothing to do, homeschool children, elderly people who have nothing to do. I would be more than glad to have them help me make some decorations. And if people maybe don't have the time to come and volunteer, they want to donate, how can they get in contact with you to do that? Um, they can reach me by calling me uh, via 702-239-6521. Um, they can volunteer for as much as an hour. It's a three-hour event. They can volunteer the entire time. They can volunteer to decorate and hand candy out. I'm very flexible, very flexible. So as far as what's going on, I know you mentioned a costume contest, pumpkin decorating. Obviously going to be a costume contest. We have three different age groups. The oldest one is the teenagers from 12 and up, and then we have a group between 8 and 12, and then we have the 8 and others for, so that the itty bitties won't get left out. And you said this event is going to be at the Bob Ruth Center at the corner of 160 and Basin. What time is it going to be at? Um, this event takes place on Halloween evening, and we're going to have the doors open at 5 until 8 p.m. And I don't believe candy will run out because I've got some really good sponsors this year.